Hello friends, the topic for today is object modeling technique. In today's video, we'll discuss the object modeling technique presented by Rombok and his co-workers in 1991. Let us start with the introduction. OMT is a methodology of object-oriented analysis, design and implementation that focuses on creating a model of objects from real world and then to use the model to develop object-oriented software. OMT is a fast intuitive approach for identifying and modeling all of the objects making up a system. Details such as class, attributes, methods, inheritance and association also can be expressed easily. The dynamic behavior of objects within a system can be described using OMT's dynamic model. Then process description and consumer producer relationship can be expressed using OMT's functional model. Then let us go to the purposes of modeling. The purposes of modeling according to Rombok and his core workers are testing physical entities before building them. That is doing the simulation. Then communication with customers. Then visualization that is alternative representation of information and reduction of complexity. So these are the purposes. Then let us go to the OMT phases. OMT consists of four phases which can be performed iteratively. The first phase is analysis. The results are objects and dynamic and functional models. Then second phase is system design. The result is structure of the basic architecture of the system along with high level strategy decisions. Then third is object design. This phase produces a design document consisting of detailed objects, static, dynamic and functional models. Then fourth phase is implementation. This activity produces reusable, extendable and robust code for the system. Then let us go to the OMT models. OMT separates modeling into three different parts. First is an object model represents the static and most stable phenomena in the model domain. It is presented by object model and the data dictionary. Then second is dynamic model. It represents a state transition view on the model presented by state diagram and event flow diagrams. Then third is functional model handles the process perspective of the model presented by data flow and constraints. Then let us go into the details of object model. The object model describes the structure of objects in a system, their identity, relationship to other objects, attributes and operations. The object model is represented graphically with an object diagram. The object diagram contains classes interconnected by association lines. Each class represents a set of individual objects. The association lines establish relationship among the classes. Each association line represents a set of links from the objects of one class to object of another class. Let us see the diagram. Here you can see the OMT object model of a bank system. The boxes represent classes. Here we have client account transition, checking account and savings account classes. Then field triangle represents specialization. Then association between account class and transition class is one to many. So the fitted circle represents this. The association of client class to account class is one to one. As a client can have only one account. So it is represented simply by a line. Here we can model the bank system with the help of the object model. Then let us go to the OMT dynamic model. So OMT provides a detailed and comprehensive dynamic model which allows you to depict States, transition, events and actions. The OMT state transition diagram is a network of states and events. Each state receives one or more events at which time it makes the transition to the next state. The next state depends on the current state as well as events. As you can see in the figure, which shows the state transition diagram for the bank application user interface. The rectangular boxes represent states and 
the arrows represents transitions then let us go to the omt functional model the omt data flow diagram shows the flow of data between different processes in a business and omt dfd provides a simple and intuitive method for describing business processes without focusing on details of computer systems dfd uses four primary symbols first is process process in any function being performed for example verify password or pin in the atm system this is represented with a ellipse then data flow data flow shows the direction of data element movement for example atm pin that is four digit then next is data store data store is a location where data are stored for example account is a data store in the atm example this is represented with two lines then external entity is a source or destination of data element for example the atm card reader so the atm reads the data from the card reader the symbols are shown in the diagram so here you can see the process is represented with the ellipse data store is represented with these two lines data flow is represented with arrow and external entity is represented with a rectangle the otm dfd for atm system can be drawn with the help of these primary symbols and then the system can be analyzed the rombok etels omt methodology provides one of the strongest tool sets for the analysis and design of object oriented system so with this we come to the end of this if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this topic then thanks for watching have a nice day